on the ground right now yes i'm wearing spandex okay they're shorts mr youtube they're not undies i promise we have 80 dresses to go through mind you that's closer to 100 than 50. like excuse me sir psa we just restocked girls night on corsets and men we only have like one burgundy left there's still a good handful of the mint ones left so if you want to grab this you should life hack if you go on my tiktok shop you actually get free shipping and like 30 percent off discount codes probably spend your money there but let's get into this so much for doing my hair for what green brooch in the middle halter dress i just feel like green has been my vibe. Also been considered the fact that no one's gonna visit me. I know it fits. It doesn't look like it, but use your imagination. Cause it's only been a year and there's no way I don't fit this right now. I love this too much to throw it away. It's gorgina. This floor print is screaming in my car's hall. It's a sin to not keep this. Not my Asian buffets. I mean, I am Asian. I just mean when I was obsessed with like East Asian looks, okay? We all have that face and we all used to fit it. Oh golly. I wear this thing out once. Girl, I out. Grew this face. Literally. Clearly, this was from Yes Out 2000. Don't hate 2000. 2017. That was my obsessive phase. East Asian obsession, fashion inspo, skinny Chinese phase, DHL phase, innocent Japanese K boo. Maybe I was a K boo. Like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> if it's not obvious that I can't keep this because. Her? What are you doing living in the past? Holding on to things that you can't fit anymore because you saved until you were skinny. If this is not proof that you just continuously grow and there's nothing wrong with that, there's no point of keeping clothes nine years later. Girl, what are you doing? I'm gonna need you to go self journal tonight. Yes, you land it. Check out my Poshmark. I literally still have tags. I've always envy girls who can rock slip dresses because, like, on me, there's just. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> I make really questionable choices. I kept this to myself secretly. If you like smaller tatas, you are golden. I can't lie, I kind of look good at this. Call me confident, call me cocky. Am I like just low key aging like fine wine? You know, my flaw is that I speak too soon. I manifest negativity without giving anything a chance. I mean, redeeming myself because I feel good in this. Wearing this makes me feel like I'm on the right path to my 40 year old goal. And that's to be a milf. We're out here succeeding. Hey girl. Hey girl. Is this? Oh, she got legs. Keep, keep. Goal in life is just be patient. Don't be discouraged. Who remembers this dress? Because remember I said I was gonna alter it? She really out here lying. I don't think I'm gonna get to it. It's only been like two, three years, Faye. Like, how did you outgrow this? I don't really care. I actually feel way better about myself now than I did two years ago when I was skinny. I was doing it in a way where it was like so unsustainable. But now I'm like growing my muscles. I'm just doing things in a way where I feel like I can actually keep up with it for a long, long time. This does not determine your progress. This is just your sign to let go of the toxic clothes in your closet that just want to judge you for what? Miss girl, who you judging? You'll find someone better for you, okay? So if you do want to shout this in my posh mark, go for it. A wise woman once said, piss off. Listen, Linda, I wanted more than anything to fit this. It feel so trendy. I'm not sure what I was going with this. It has this lazy wavy grid type with a chain one shoulder. Quite loose right here. I just don't know if this is me anymore. Look, I still have the top because I kept it hello skinny until I had like a flatter tummy. This is feeling a little teenager. The, the goal here is the, the road to milk. This card. This is like my cupcake era. I bought this when I still lived in my beloved apartment. R.I.P. Cusp of casual but not bellary. What if we had like a cute little backyard summer? No, me playing hypotheticals. You think I should keep this? She said it looks like I'm going to a spring wedding. I'm not going to a spring wedding. I'm not gonna take up space in my closet and keep something for years just to have. This is also from my Asia blue phase. My East Asian obsession phase. Where I just wanted to dress like those cute, tiny, thin, XXS, triple zero girls. Of course, those Korean models swipe. Without the correct size, this on my US size 8 to 10. We should be in jail spending that money on clothes so small. Who is gonna stop me? I remember wearing this and I was like, oh, my stomach, but it's so pretty, Beauty and the Beast. I will make sure I lose weight in a year or two and it's gonna be fantastic to wear. Uh -uh. I look like I'm composed of iron. The cowl neckline is not really cowling. My fupa likes to be loud. She's screaming right now. I just don't feel comfortable in this. This is say anything about me or my confidence. It just says, I don't like it. K-Buffet is 
screaming. By the way, I'm saying that as a joke. We all know that K-pop was my life and it literally was my career. But today we'll use that as an adjective to describe these dresses. Who let me go outside like this? Why? The collar? The sleeves? The puffs? I was just like, whatever the pale skinny ladies are wearing, I'm wearing. <laughs> no hate to the models. No hate to people who like this style. I was 20. It doesn't feel like my personality. Should I keep it when I am a mom? Parent meetings on Mondays? No, because this will yeet us off our path to MILF. No. This is one of the newer dresses I've gotten in the past year. I'm obsessed with this corner piece. Gives my short stout girlies a little bit more shape. I appreciate a little bit more effort down here. Would you say the cuffs are inky minty? So have your little six cents antenna out there so you just sense when you're slipping. So I didn't zip it all the way yet. We have a little bit of this lacing at the back. So it's a little bit more forgiving on the back cookies. However, if you are like a chunky cookie girl, just now my leak through the little gaps here and there. My tatas really said, we don't really want the same vicinity. It's too small because this is supposed to be a wrap skirt. Slit is on the side, but the slit is like right almost parallel to the Kuchina. It's too small in my body. Point blank. I wore this two videos ago. I wore it for our little girls' day picnic. We love it. We appreciate it. Easy keeping. The forecast is Asia Bowie. Nothing's wrong with it. It's just not who I am now in this current phase of life. You see how there's like this lining? I like that part's supposed to be up on your shoulders. I think this is going on my gosh mark. Pretty sure you can find photos of me wearing this when I was overseas. It's heat press with girlies down. <gasps> There's a hole! Just have to embrace the now and not live in the then. Times. A tweed dress that I thought I would one day wear. Everything's just like right there, but it's just not it. So I'm gonna give this to my sister instead. I actually think this is a dress that twice wore because I used to do those videos where I would buy the same branding of clothing they would wear for the music videos. I feel like I have an athletic build in this dress because I feel buff up here. It's squeezing my lungs. I feel like a stiff turkey. Oh my gosh, she has pubes. Okay, it's gotta go. So this is a mini slip dress. Very small. This didn't even fit me before and I locked it in place thinking it'll work, it'll work. What's working, you may ask? The trash bin. You see my skin more than you see the dress. Red flag number one. My back wants some love too. This could easily be mistaken as like an oversized t-shirt. Not feeling flattered. Copy and paste and cut the sleeves. Nice little flow. Not too overly done. Not exaggerated. I'm a huge huge fan of necks like this. I think it's super flattering on my broader shoulder girls. Nice little sunflower color, cinching around their waist. It's flowy and it covers up. Call me old fashioned. My first thought wearing this was whoever told me to keep this as a fake friend. Then I'm looking at this and I'm thinking this would be cute for like a bridal shower. I fit this way better than when I first got it. I feel a little bit more confident in this. It's hot. I can't think. Again, I just can't take up space in my closet with things I know I've not touched once. This is cute. <gasps> this is actually from a really nice brand. It buttons kind of asymmetrical down. It's not stretchy. Digging into my skit. <laughs> the ideal length of a dress on me. But then this part I can't get. We can forgive once. Forgiveness granted. We're so close. Did I just grab my own wish? We might pop any second. Look how cute. Oh, I feel so cute in this. I look like a pickle. It's really tight on the armpits. I don't love it. Girl Poshmark. This is probably one of my most worn dresses from Revolve. I also wore this during my k boo days. My Asia boo days. Have worn it more frequently than the rest of these dresses. Still has been stretchy. Always fit me. So keeping. I have so many of these tight knitted slip dresses. But not enough confidence in the jar to full send the straps. Like I cannot trust these. Mm -mm. I wore this to Nicholas's graduation the other day. I love this gold and sky blue contrast. It feels like you're wearing watercolor on you. It didn't like great when it would just like fall and voluntarily lifts itself up. It gives breastfeeding vibes. <sighs> this is not gonna fit. I'm not even gonna bother. Look at this. Can you blame me? It's so old. An earthquake is happening back here. Okay, the ultimate k boo thing, but it's not in full respect. The first time I went to Korea was actually on a brand trip. I don't think I'm doing this right, so I am so sorry. One of our activities in our schedule was visit this hanbok shop. The brand is called Lily's, and they're known to have like modern day hanbok. Of course, I'm not wearing it correctly. I'm not really sure how to do the bow part. Creators that were on that trip got a handbook. Super grateful. We met the designer. We had to walk down a runway. So yeah, it's like the ultimate k boo thing. But this was sponsored and branded for me. So please don't think that I'm culturally appropriating. I just wanted to share the designer that made this specifically for us. All the creators that were on the trip. Of course I'm keeping this. I'm so grateful for this experience. I wore this on my skinniest and I wasn't even satisfied. What has society done to us? Wearing this now, I'm not feeling a lot either. Toss k boo days. I wore this to my meet and greet in Vancouver. It was such a thing in K-pop. Red Velvet made it huge. 
<laughs> and that is not the most K-pop boot thing. It's really bringing face K-pop era back. Not horrible, but would I wear it today? Definitely not. This, I would say, authentically, was part of who I was back then, nine years ago. In this world, it's just too young for me now. <sighs> I'm always contemplating myself. But yeah, anyways. <gasps> It. Listen, Linda, I'm just easily influenced, okay? Can we just admit that? Some pickles are tickles, some pickles aren't. Mine is. <laughs> the sleeves are enormous. Definitely not something I'd wear outside. K-pop artists are so out there, so unique and bright. I was trying to go for that. More than anything, I do feel like this matches my personality. I am very like, ooh, yeah. I was very much like that back then, too. Now I'm just like an emotional mess. Would I wear it today? <gasps> no. If you ask anyone, my most worn dress definitely is this dress. The navy color is flattering. I can't see to want to let it go. I'm just gonna keep this one for emergencies, but I am gonna try to find this one again so I could repurchase it in a smaller size to fit me. Until then, <laughs> oh my god. I just need to give it up with Urban Outfitters. Their sizes do not fit me. It is not made for girls like me. It doesn't fit me for $69. If you want this for 20 bucks, go for it. It's embarrassing. No, 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 no. I'm kind of just slowing down with getting things from Lip Hop. Four years worth of things like this. I think we're all sick of it. What's the point? It literally is just going to determine my mood. It's a lot more dangerous than you think. You've got to be kidding me. Instead of the back thing all exposed, my whole front is. I'm totally keeping this. What? And then we have things like this. I like like a sack of potatoes from the side. A little summer vibe. Just for options. We'll keep this. Is this the Asia Boo dress? Yes, it is. A different brand trip with a more Pacific and Jeju Island. I like this. I like the crossover into this drape and it looks good on my waist. I don't have anything in this like red brown chocolate color. Normally I'd wear this support. Yeah, the color is so rich. The polka dot just so dainty. Must protect vibes. I'm starting to go crazy. The zipper is just too tiny. My most warm short dresses. We've gone through it, girl. We're keeping it. You're going no. This is from my Forever 21 days. It's been like a glove. It does look rusted and busted. It's been worn and torn down. The scoop neck is not favorable, but for this dress itself, it works. Okay, Forever 21. I think you went bankrupt. We're gonna keep you. Just don't look at the back, okay? We'll figure that out for another day. This blue one's a little bit more flattering. Not sure if I'd ever wear a cow neckline dress anywhere. I live in Michigan. I look like a champagne bottle. I kind of am living for it. So we're gonna keep this. We've all seen this dress on the ground. I like the pepto bismol baby pink look. The length I can do. Especially love is this crisscross detail. She's feeling good. Love this muted, dirty water color. I need to wear this more often this summer. I didn't zip it all the way. I'm up in this little like higher scoop neckline. It might be a little loose on the chesty bestie so you see a little bit of this poking out but that's not gonna stop me. This color just like supports my face. Who's gonna tell me? Were you guys just gonna watch me? We really thought Darren there was gonna give me a chance at evolution. No, no. I cannot believe I really thought I was gonna leave this in my closet. This was gonna have the power over me. Girl, you are going in the Mariana train. Oh my god, Linda. Why even bother with this? Who even let you in the closet? Like, I am so disappointed in myself that I even allowed myself to keep this. There's no way I would fit this in the beginning. Oh my god. Yang. You really thought you did something here. Going forward, we cannot have this. If you wanna have a healthy relationship with me, you cannot be sneaking things like this. I'm even shocked I have this. You know this all too well 10 minute version. No, no, no. Not still does it make me feel like, oh wait, do I look like I have a booty in this? <laughs> Not even gonna bother. I only kept this romper dress. I bought it for a twice video and it was expensive also. There's no way it's ever gonna fit me. Ever. This fits me. I just can't. And I'll be bothered right now. I wore this literally this weekend, but the thing is, I'm not a fan of the length on me, so I always tend to roll it up. Do you feel the tightness around my armpits? Maybe I'm a little bit too hyper-focused on that. It looks fine. I'm Delulu right now. I feel so delirious. I made my mom wear this dress for our little girls' picnic. Looks way better on my mom. Again, I bought this for my Asia Boo days. I don't know why I would wear this in Korea. It's literally like a train back here. Me, personally, we're tossing, girl. I've always wanted to make this work, so I've kept it for so long, but every time I've worn it, I had issues with the way my fupa belly look. I think I'm just so fixated. I honestly think it's fine. This looks so fast. Leave this long neckline. Girl, no. Can't even make excuses. And I look like I'm going to my attorney's office right now. Yes, I'm suing Cheryl for throwing a water balloon at me, which did happen. The fall color palette is really intriguing, though, I must say. But there is no shape to this. I look like a cylinder. I used to think I wasn't enough for something that I didn't fit. No, you are not enough. Oh, this is not our shirt. So sorry, you're 
full. It's a long shirt. I don't even look like I have ambition in this dress. And I got a gray one. Also, these were like a long time ago for our 21 dresses. So not a chance. Uh, it's like a towel. Snake skin look moment, which I hate. I hate snakes. It's like a snake swallowed up a rat right here. I mean, we're sticking to the theme. Another lip hop dress. Lip hop more like belly flop. It looks better than it did before, but not enough. Now I want to quit. I'm looking like Gabby. I really held on to this dress thinking one day it'll work. The straps are not to be trusted. My life is depending on you and you are not going to be able to execute. I just know. This dog. Anything and everything I wear cheetah print wise, you guys kind of know I'm not a fan of. I think it's a little tacky. Straight up looks like a pajama slip on me. You know. Speaking of, we have literally another cheetah print one. This one might look a little bit better on me. This weird scoop V is not working. You either go for it or you don't. I'm just not even gonna bother. This size is way too small for me. Prison, but make it cute. I'm not even gonna bother. I should not be bothered right now. This has been going on for four hours and I'm losing my sh Keep the black one and toss the pink one. Goofier than usual. I have accepted previously in my videos my body in it and I think that's actually helped me because having it on again, I like am loving it. It's not like what I would imagine it to look like compared to the models. That's a dangerous route we don't want to go down. So just me and Hey It's Face body. I like this. I think I can make it work. As you can tell, the big issue here is they do not want to collaborate. It's a little torturous for them. They are doing anything they could to stay apart. The side hoppity hop. Pretty short too, by the way. Bend down, yeah, no. This towel dress, gotta go. I am obsessed with this wrong bride. Open stomach surgery, closed up. Tightly, nicely wrapped up. Bandage, 24 seven on call care. It's literally a lifesaver for girls who are just like very Dorito shaped like me. You could tie it up to however you want. He, I was really convinced I was gonna toss this one, but as I'm wearing it now, I'm confident I could get this to zip. I like the width of the strap. It has a very subtle neckline that scrunches within reason. Polka dot kind of like blends in your stomach. Keeping her. Where are you supposed to go? Okay. Hmm. This is too much for me to handle. This suede is really pretty. It has this like wispy, misty, olive tree branch, but I don't want to set my roots here. Politely, I passed. I thought this would have worked somehow. Your girl is struggling to keep it together. Literally. Accidentally have this romper in the pile, but I really wanted to try it. We're just going to count this in. I think I have like one more romper in here. I literally am having a wedgie. Maybe it feels a little looser. Super cute because they have pockets. This part is making it too obvious that she's a thickety chicken. Kind of looks like a big diaper on me. Do I look funny from the back? Okay. Don't have to say anything. Yeah. Almost there. This is proof that not all investments are worth it. This is just not worth getting into. Easy pass. This dress I had on in my very first episode of this series where I kept clothes until I was skinny. So you're here to witness me tossing this away. It's not even shocking at this point because it's from Urban Outfitters. Their clothes is made for one specific girl. We're just not meant to fit into that mold. With that being said, this is a goner. You won't see her again. I'm including this romper. It's such a great Amazon find. Some people actually disliked this romper on me, but I love it. I thought it was like super cute. So many compliments in it. Amazon Prime, so you can literally get it tomorrow. My Jisoo dress. It loves it, girls. Gotta go. I recall putting this on, looked at myself, and I was like, I hate this on me. Even the photos I took that I posted, I hated every second of it. Therefore, Poshmark. My little red bandage dress. It will take a whole village to be able to zip this up on me. Look how far apart this has grown. I mean, at least it's like sickening. Not sickening, but sickening. But you know what? I'm gonna find a better sexy red dress that's gonna fit me and I'm actually gonna like enjoy being in it. I love I wore once. I just know that putting this on, I'm not gonna love it. Granted, it is a little bit more stretchy, but I know I can do better. Poshmark it is. Everything you're seeing here that I'm saying I'm gonna put on Poshmark, please refresh in a week's worth of time. Bear with me, we're almost there. Honestly, not bothered. This might be the twice dress, but I can't recall. I think I'm just gonna leave this for my sister. Remember that video I did of the Amazon skim dupes? Basically shapewear in a dress? I still kept them. I just never wore them, but I think one of these days these will come into use. If you wanna see that video, go check it out. What the heck, Faye? What in the bejesus? Yeah, I'm gonna keep the Amazon ones. Tossing this one. Oh, it was from my haul that like only rich people would buy. I don't know, even know if this is me. It says medium, so I know it's gonna be tight on me, but I think I bought this from Reformation. We're gonna have to keep this. 
I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be a greedy, money hungry bitch. Halara, Halara, we all see it on our TikTok ads. There's hope. We'll make it work this summer. I promise you. Follow me on Instagram, I'll wear it. Okay, now we just have like three little party dresses. Wore to my boyfriend's sister's wedding. I don't know if I fit it anymore, but mems. Just the other night, I wore this dress, this silky velvet, velvet, just velvet, velvet, velvet emerald dress. Yours and Nicholas's graduation party. Throughout the night, it did look like I was pegging it. cares? If you've been following me for a long time, all my K-beauty, K-pop days, you will remember this dress. When I was part of the Drama Fever Awards, you guys still remember Drama Fever? The most streamed platform for Asian streamed movies and dramas besides Vicky and Snoopy. I worked with all of them. This was the dress I wore to that award show and it had my own little lines. I met Jungkook from Running Man, not BTS Jungkook, I wish. I'm gonna keep this just for the memes. That is the last. I'm sorry I gave up towards the end. This is probably one of the hardest haul-like videos I've ever filmed that took literally, breaks included, over six hours to film. Just getting in and out of dresses, a little torturous, not gonna lie. If you got this far, make sure you like the video so I know that you made it with me throughout the night. I hope you're inspired to clean out your closet, let go of all the toxicity that clothes actually have over you, deeming whether you're good enough or not. It is like an emotional process. Again, we've just been on this kick of rediscovering ourselves. Let go of things you don't want to be attached to anymore. I need to go to bed. I'm exhausted. Until next time, I'm sending so much love. Good night. Go to sleep, Linda. Tell me what you do on a Sunday I I'm tired of all these Friday nights